That's awesome. What? We know that light and shadow are what defines form, but in a color to grayscale conversion process, color really dictates how that grayscale conversion happens. Let's take a look at these three light circles. Remembering that red, green, blue are what makes white light. So if I were to select the red layer and move this up, select the blue layer, move it over. So these are perfectly 255 in their individual color channels. Notice how the red layer is 255.00, the green is 0.255.0, and the blue is 00.255. Because 255 in all three color channels means pure white. 255 in one color channel while the others are all zero means you have a pure luminosity value of that one color. That's why if you were to put a, a red, green, blue filter over three flashlights and overlap them, where they overlap would make the secondary colors. Noticing that red and green make yellow, green and blue make cyan, and red and blue make magenta, and where all three overlap, you have pure white. Notice it's 255 in every single color channel. But here's what's interesting. I'll add a hue and saturation adjustment later and just desaturate it. Now granted, this typically is not going to happen in the real world because you rarely have a perfect isolation of 100% luminosity in only one color channel. But it kind of shows you the problem, right? All the colors converted to the same shade of gray. And this would happen with a rose. The red leaves and the green leaves would convert to pretty much the same shade of gray. Again, this is a theoretical example to emphasize the point that colors directly affect black and white conversions. So let's talk about relative value. So you can do this experiment yourself. What I'll do is I'll start with a normal white document. I will click on my gradient tool, make sure it's on linear gradient, make sure my default colors are black to white, and I'll hold down the shift key so I'll only draw a straight line, a perfect straight line, and I'll stop just a little bit from the edge. So now I have a nice gradient. What I'll do is I'll add a blank layer on top. I'll come over and choose the marquee tool. And again, if you're being quick, the shortcut is the letter M. Hit the letter M, and then I'm going to draw by holding down the shift key so that it keeps it a perfect square, make a perfect square, and I'm going to hit shift delete to open up the fill dialog box. I'm going to fill it with 50% gray, and then I'm going to hit command or control J to jump that to its own layer as well. I'll hit V for the move tool. Now watch as I click with the move tool, holding the shift key so it drags in a perfectly straight line. Watch how the value of the gray appears to change. I mean, we know it's the identical 50% gray, 128 in all the color channels. But notice the further I get to the white area, our eyes lie to us. The same 50% gray square over the white area looks visually darker. And the light square, which we know isn't a light square, the identical color value looks lighter. Poke in the info palette real quick, pull it out so I can see what's going on. See, that's still 128. This is still 255. This gray square is still 128. And over here we have zero. And notice as I come across how the RGB values systematically change at a one pixel value as I drag across, right? All the way to 255. This is relative value. I'm sure you've seen this floating around the internet. Select the lasso tool, which is over here. And I want the polygonal lasso tool, which makes straight edge selections. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this B by clicking once, dragging my straight line, clicking on the corner, clicking on that corner, clicking on this corner, and clicking on this corner. I'm gonna hit Command or Control J to jump just that to its own layer. I can see this by just turning off the eyeball underneath. So what I'm gonna do is hit the Move tool, and I can either go all the way over here and select the Move tool, or I can just hit the letter V. I'm gonna grab that jumped up B, and notice as I overlay these, notice they're the same color, right? Let's look at those in the info palette. So this is 119, 120, and this is 119. Now I'm going to pull this back. In the shadow area, it looks like a light square, but when it's being hit by light, that same 50% square looks dark. That's relative value. You. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Go home. Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I did! Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. <laughs> hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.